Hello everyone, welcome to Project Rikuti Torah. We are now learning Daf 58, Daf Nun Ches of Sefer Bamidbar, Parsha Schulkas. And we are moving in the uh, beer of the Maimuzay Schulkas Torah, Ice Base. Now, everything we spoke about the, the, the ritual of the Paraduma. Uh, we can explain further the psukim about the kain taking the eitz eres and the ezoiv and the shnei selas and the hishlech al teich sirf as a para etc. Like the tomei the mafa sirf as a para son of love maimchen kelly. So this is the process that's brought down in the chumash in the parsha shulkas. Now, in order to understand this, we have to preface uh, the inyan of the four levels of creation. From highest to lowest, we have Medaber, humankind, high animal kingdom, Sameach, vegetation, and Demim, um, the rest of inanimate matter. This corresponds to the four levels of, um, of Ta'amim. Nikudais, Tagim and Oisius. And so that's from, from highest to lowest. Um, the reason why the Alter Rebbe presumably brings down from high up to do, top to bottom is because to show the Indian that, that within the highest level includes all of the subsequent lower levels. And now we're going to go back and explain each of the levels from bottom to top. So the first level is Daimim. That is the last and lowest level of these four levels, which um, Daimim represents just the mere existence of the object is, expresses this, the, the fact that it's a Daimim. Um, now to say Meach is uh, an offshoot, so to speak, uh, something that's in addition to Daimim, it sprouts from them, just like the tagim, the crowns come forth from the letters of the, the oisius of uh, Lashon HaKadosh. They, they sprout from the letters. So to the tzimiach, like trees and grass, sprout from the earth, from the daim, in the inanimate uh, matter. And this... Uh, is the idea that it includes both, meaning to say that a tree is like diamond because it exists, but it also has the union of tzimeach because it grows, has this idea of growing um, in addition. So that's what's called tzimeach. Now next we have the level of chai. Chai is an additional level on top of Demim Tzimiach, which is a nefesh achinus varetzainus, an animating soul. And this is something that Demim Tzimiach alone do not have. Um, now, like, so in any animal that would be on the level of Chai, they also have the level of Demim Tzimiach within it. For example, let's say... Uh, I don't know, a cow, that it has the idea of daimim in the fact that it exists, it has the idea of tzimeach in the fact that it grows. Um, it starts out as a young calf and it grows, it gets bigger. Um, but it also has the inyan of chai, the sense that it has this animating soul within it. Um, and we also see this inyan, the idea that you have daimim, daimim within chai by when you see the bones of an, of an animal, of a chai. Because the bones, um, that is very much daimim. But yet, it's part of the chai, and it also grows, so it has tamech as well. Now, the highest level of the four is medaber. What is unique about medaber is the fact that it has a nefesh a sichlis and medaberis. It has an intellectual soul that's able to communicate um, intelligently with others. And that's humankind. Now, as we've uh, already mentioned, that this level of medaber includes within it all the uh, 
lower levels of Zain and Sameach and Chai as well. Now, to understand these four levels um, from a more spiritual level, that within each person, all of our faculties contain within them these four levels of Dayman, Samechai, and Medaber. So the lowest level, um, with regards to the Kayichus Nefesh, um, our Machshav, Dibar, Maisa, our thought, speech, and action, this is the level of Dayman. Um, because, because, this Indian, because one speech, or one, I guess, piece of speech or thought or action, we don't have, these are the building blocks. They're called oisius. Um, just like oisius, letters are connected to the idea of daimim, meaning to say that one letter, uh, when you speak one letter or think one letter, or um, then you don't, you don't have other spe- thoughts or um, elements of speech sprouting forth, so to speak, from that speech or thought. It's their individual pockets of data, so to speak. Um, so you don't have this in of Hagdala by Machshav Dibur Meiser. So therefore, that's why that's why uh, Chassidus and Tanya and other places it, it describes um, Oisius Machshav that the thought is broken up to packets of data called Oisius, and same thing with Dibur Oisius and Dibur. Because they don't have this idea of gidol and smicha. Now, that's not the case with regards to the midais. The emotions of a person, that is connected to the idea of tzimeach. Because we have um, um, a development, so to speak. A growth process, um, for example, by a young child. He has um, emotional attachments and emotional desire for very trivial, small things like I don't know. He loves candy. He loves ball ball games or playing in the sand or whatever small thing. But then when he grows up, he has um, his emotions get more sophisticated. And they, they develop, um, and when he gets greater, uh, this his spilus um, grows as well, and his midas and his emotional uh, maturity. Matures, so that's the idea of growth and the idea of midas, and that as it connects to the level of tzim miach. Now, the level of chai within a person, within the kaiyches uh, nefesh of a person, is seichel, the chachma binadas, because it's written hachachma techaya that wisdom enlivens, that that there's a special connection between wisdom. Into an intellect in general, with um, with the level of high of, of life and um, animation, and a proof for th- another proof for this uh, connection between seichel and chai is brought in the parentheses. Now, after parentheses, the highest level of within the kaiyches and nafesh of a person is keser. Kesser, um, which is even higher than Seichel, that's connected to the highest um, level of creation of Medaber, of humankind. Because the speech, what makes, what makes humans unique? The fact that they are able to speak. That the speech itself, even, so which is ironic because we said that within the realms of Kreichs Nefesh, um, speech is on the level of demons, the lowest level. Now we're saying that Kesser is connected to Madab, which is the highest level. So essentially what this is, is within Kesser, it's the Koyach to make, it's the, of the potential to make it possible to speak. And the proof of it is that uh, a small child that understands, um, when he's young, he doesn't understand to speak until he gets older, and then only when he's mature, he's able to speak. And that speech is only able to develop more as his intellect grows um, with him.
Now, just like all this makes sense by the koiches nefesh of of mankind, of us, so too with regards to Hashem, Lamaila, we have these four levels within Hashem. So, the lowest level of Daimim within Hashem is the Indian of the Oitzius Machshav and Dibor that Hashem speaks the world into creation, that it's brought down in Sefer Yetzirah, that the stones are um, two stones build build the, the ho- stones build the houses, which are the letters of creation, the twenty two letters of creation that Hashem uses to create the world. And that's the idea of Daimin, because these are the building blocks of creation. Now Hashem's Midois, this is connected to Saimeach. That just like the Gar Sit we have this growth process, so too within Zer Anpin, which is the Midais of Khalid Barhu. It's called Saimeach because there's a growth element to it. Because we have two we have Mechin de Katnus, Mechin de Nika, Mechin de Galus Rishain, Gadlusheni, etc. Um, and that's why in the Pasik, in uh, with regards to the with regards to the Paraduma, it's the, the process involves an eight eras the Azoif, a cedar and hyssop ch- uh, tree. That these you need to be used to, to shake and to and the ashes um, of the burnt uh, paraduma. The eras is two eras and azaif are two types of levels of tzimach, the two types of vegetation. And eras is considered a loftier and greater um, vegetative matter than Azov is. I guess it grows higher. Eras is a very tall cedar tree. Azov is just a um, smaller bush, a hyssop. It's a much shorter uh, species of tzimach. As it is written in Malachim, Mina Erez Asher Belvanin, Vara Azov Asher Yetzi Bakir. That the, the cedar tree is uh, very tall. It grows in Lebanon in the north of Israel, um, and the from the greatest to the smallest azev to the smallest hyssop plant, which which comes out of the, it's almost like a weed that comes out of the wall. As brought down in that pasuk. Now, that's midas as it relates to tzemiach. Now Hashem's chachma is called chai. Why? Because we have a pasuk in koi halas hachachma techaya. And this is the Indian of Maim Chaim that, that uh, I guess, flows from underneath, underneath the, the Eretz, the land. And this is the Chachma Me Ain Timatze, that Chachma is found from this level of Ain, within Hashem. And that's the level of Keser, which is the source of Chaim, because Chachma is essentially flows from Keser. And the highest level of Hashem, Kesar, this is the union of Medaber, which is higher than Chai, as we spoke about earlier. And with regards to this, we have a Pasuk in Tehillim that says, Ki imcha makor chayim, that the source of Chai, the, level, the source of the level of Chaim, of Chai, is Kesar. Um, that's what's called the level of Medaber, because it's the source for speech as well. Even though Dibor is the level of diamond, which we spoke about earlier, it's the lowest level. But because we have this concept of no, it's tchilos and besoifon, besoifon be tchilosan, that that the end is wedged in the beginning, the beginning is wedged in the end. That malchus is sourced specifically in Kesser, which is the highest level. Therefore, in these ten spheres of Urchaiser, from the level of Archeiser, Malchus is Kesser, as it's brought down in Eitzchayim. And therefore, that's why specifically the king, a king, a Melech, wears a crown Davka. Even though he's the a Melech, is the Indian of Malchus, which is the lowest level, he's Davka wearing a Kesser, which is, and with a, a Tara, which is the highest level um, of Kesser. And therefore, the source of speech is Nimshach from the level of Kesser, Davka which is called Medaber, and therefore the Oisius, our Makif, our Makifim over the Seichel, this um, 
encompass and are completely beyond and abstract over the seichel, the intellect. And um, their source is ha- higher than Chachma. And therefore, the Oasis of Torah are sourced in this level that's much loftier than Chachma. So, because it says, Eresa me Chachma Nafkas, the Torah is derived from Chachma. But the Oasis of Torah are sourced in a level that's even higher than Chachma. Now, parentheses are very fascinating. Or just briefly, the, the altar explains how it's possible, why this all makes sense, why an Amma Aretz, a person that doesn't even understand Torah at all, can actually be called to the Torah and actually say Birchas Torah, even though he doesn't even understand the words that are being said. Which also explains why, um, why we paskin uh, Lecha that saying Psukim of, of Tanakh is actually um, limited Torah, even though there's not actually the understanding, the Havana Shabbatavar, but you're connecting to this level of Oisis Torah, which is even higher than Chachma. Now, very beautiful uh, parentheses that takes us to the end of the Ois. Now, moving on to Ois Gimel. Now, this is the whole, everything explained up until this point is the whole Indian of Maisapara. Now the Efer, these ashes of the Paraduma, represents the elevation of my Nukvin. Which in, included in this, my Nukvin, we have all three levels of Daimim, daimim Sameach, and Chai. Why? Because the Para, a cow, is Chai, it's part of the animal kingdom. And from that, that para dume is burnt, which becomes ashes, and these ashes is becomes the level of daimim. But then from there, it's mixed with the water, also daimim, but specifically dipped into this mixture of water ashes is these uh, eight eras of azoif which is the Indian of Tzimeach. And the Tzimeach also includes Dimu within it. And Ushni Sailas, and this crimson um, thread, this wool. This is this represents the level of Dibur. Um, uh, now from here, we find that this source corresponds to the level of Medaber, or this, this level of Shni Sailas. In which this uh, bundle of eight eras of the of is wrapped, um, and also that the Isis of Dibor themselves are the level of Daimim. And all this is because that the Maisa Para, this whole uh, procedure, of the Paraduma uh, includes is has this element of the Savaita of Ratzavishuv, and therefore. That's why the Paraduma is the quintessential Chukah Satira. And therefore, the Paraduma Dafu becomes eight ashes. Because that is the Ratzai. I guess the cleaving to Hashem because it means completely burnt. Um, um, and, but involved in that process, you have all the levels of Daimim, Tzimeach, and Chai, and Medaber, etc. Therefore, through this, um, afterwards you have this Indian of Kiddush Mechatas, the, this, and the Venasan Alav Maim Chaim El Kali, the, the placing of this, this fresh living waters into the vessel. This stage of the process of the Paraduma represents Hamshachas Maim Dukhrin, the drawing down of the masculine waters. Which is from the level of Chochma uh, Techaya, of Chochma uh, Techaya, which is from the level of Mechastima. From all this, it is understood also this Indian of Asher Tziva Vayalemar is the continuation of the Pasuk goes that has, has 
that which Hashem commanded. That from the level of Isis the Atik, the letters of within Atik, within Primus Akasar, is Nimshach, to be the source for Chachma, which is called Amira. That's why it says, Shir Siva Havaya, and then Lamar. Lamar goes on Amira, which is the source for Chachma. Meaning that the level of Isis is higher than Chachma. Meaning the source of the Isis, as they are in the level of Kasser, that on this is called the Kasser, it's called Medaber, but only that as Medaber comes down below into the level of Malchus, they are Levushim, they become Levushim or Batim, so to speak, to the level of Chachma, and therefore that they are included. And their source above the level of Chachma, as we spoke about earlier. Therefore, it says the Shirt Siva Havailemar, specifically Siva is the Indian of Tzavsa of Achibor, the connection. That this connection, this Hamshach from the level of Isis of Shem of Atik, into the level of Chachma, that's the Indian of Lemar. Now, moving on to the third column of Daphne and Ches, uh, we have a parenthesis, which explains the, the Kiddush Mechatas more in depth, um, as it relates to the elevation line, Nukvin, etc. And after the parentheses, in order to understand this this Indian of the para, the Baruchnius, that it's known that from the Kava Smoil, we have Yenike Sechit and that from the left side, Baruchnius, we have... Uh, um, negativity that can be extracted. Reishi de Esav beat for the Yitzchak, specifically that um, that Esav came from Yitzchak, and Esav represents this Indian of Yinikasachit Sainim from Kaba Smile, meaning that because. This level of gvuris and kava smile, um, and or that is the level of or chayzer and ratza and istalkos to be included in or in sav baruchu, which is the opposite of the level of mshach and gila lamato, that which is nimshach from the gvuris lamato, is with a lot of tsimsum, and therefore with a lot of tsimsumum, it's nimshach. Lamata, these gvuris kashes in ikasachitzenim. So that is the source um, of how ikasachitzenim comes down here. Now, that's all with regards to the kav hasmoil, but the kav hayamin, the level, which is from this level of chesed, and kav hayamin is in. Order to have the same shach and gilu or in saif baruch lamato, which is the level or yashar. Therefore, even the fact that it's nimshach bishdal sulos lamato, it's not possible to have a nikasach tzaynim from this union of or yashar and kaviyamin, because in this level of kaviyamin and or yashar, we have this level of bittel that's nimshach lamato. Um, and because you have this bittel, this uh, the hamshach is in a bittel de ka'ifen, directly from Arin Saif, therefore it's not possible to have yinikas chitzaynim. And that's the line of paraduma that we take from the left, so to speak, de kabilas mismala, from the level of pnei shor, because Pnei Arye is on the right side of the Merkava, but Pnei Shor is on the left side of the Merkava. But specifically, a para, the a cow, calf, comes from the left side from Pnei Shor. Because para represents, is a, is a female, is a female Shor. So that's the, represents the level of Nukva Denega, the feminine aspect of Klippus Nega. So that it's known the Klippus Noiga is this intermediary between the Klippus Tameus Legamre and Kedusha. I mean, the Klippus Tameus Legamre is the source of Yitzhara and the Yitzhara, 
and that 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 complete raw, for example, murder, adultery, lashon hara, theft, and similarly, that's that's klipas tamei legamri. Klipas noiga is the source of the itzahara of Titus Heter. As they, uh, when a person does things that are mutter, technically mutter, but he doesn't do it l'shem shemaim, but he just does it for his own pleasure. Um, because we know that klipas noiga is a mixture of good and bad. But the panemius of klipas noiga um, is really comes from good. But what happens is, is it comes down and becomes slabish into a ra, into, into negativity and evil. And through the good that is within Klippus Nega, it receives the chayas from the level of Kedusha. This is what it means, the kabilas mismala. It receives from the left side, from the, from the Pneshor of the Merkava, which is, which, um, I guess is mashpia into the klipas etmeas nachitzayim through the ra that is within it. And therefore, we find that it unites and is it's mechaberes yimshach the simika from the eser sphere of kedusha to the eser kisre misavusa, which is uh, the source of ra gomer as we spoke about earlier. Now, so how do we rectify the fact that there's so much negativity that's nimshach into klippus, uh, through klippus noiga? For that, we have the mitzvah of paraduma. Because the paraduma specifically is done, we, is brought mechutz lamachana, outside of the camp, as is brought down in Pajas Chukas. That in Hatzilus, we know that Hashem... And his and uh, his uh, attributes are completely one. That his left is included within his right, and there's no in the level of atzilus. There's no unique sechit That also outside of level bria, that 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 even klavus nega of bria is uh, majority good. That only in Yitzira we have half good, half evil. But once you get down to Asiya, most, most of the world of Asiya is Rubai Kakule Ra, like 99% Ra. So we only have this little bit of good that's mixed in within the Ra, as is brought to admission of Chassidim. So. So therefore, the whole of the Paraduma is to extract that small vestige of, of toiv that's mixed within the Ra. And um, it's done in order to return the Sinikas Chatsinim. It's done from there. And so, therefore, we uh, this process of paraduma, we have this haza, the sprinkling of the mechatos, um, which is specifically the the taking of the eight heirs of ezev. So you saw, so you're sticking the the branches into the the water, the mixture of paraduma, and you're extracting the 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 ash the the ashes and sprinkling it. That is a spiritual process to remove the good from this mixture of good and evil, which is the Pimis Klippa Snega, and return it to its source to Kedusha. And therefore, sprinkle it corresponding to the um, base Kedush Kedushim. Specifically, it has to be opposite the Kedush Kedushim. Even though it's done in Chutz Machna, it's done connected base Kedush Kedushim. And then afterwards, the Saraf is a para, burn the, the calf. To, the whole purpose of that is to rectify the chitzenis of klipas nega. Now, we know that the body of an animal also has within it all four elements. Esh, ruach, maim, afar. Fire, wind, water, and earth. 
However, the vast majority of the body comes from Afar, earth. And therefore, that's why Adam, by Adam it says, well, Afar Tashuv, that after, after a man, after a human passes away, they return to the ground, Davka. Because the essence of the body of a cow, of a para, or of uh, any high for that matter, uh, is really mainly Afar. Rather, but the only thing is, is that within the Afar is mixed. We have uh, different elements as well. We have the, the fire, uh, the wind, and the water. But when a person, when we burn the paraduma, essentially what's happening is, is you're extracting all the other three soides of Eshmaim Ruach from the para, and all that's left is the, the afer of the paraduma, which is the essence of the paraduma. And the um, and the rest just, I guess, uh, just get removed and separated from the from the burning process, and so that is the mush or the analogy. Now, what's the nimshal? The nimshal is the afer is the atzmius of the para, that the source of his havus of the of klipas noiga, uh, how klipas noiga comes into being, that is from the world of tohu. Because and specifically through Shvir Zakelim, which fell, which in which the 248 sparks uh, fell into Klippus Nega. And this is the Atzmius, um by way of analogy, meaning that this is the Iker, the Iker of Klippus Nega is the 248 sparks. And specifically through the strafus of para process, through burning para, so here in the nimshal, I guess, uh, through this process of shvir sekelim, uh, the, sorry, the shvir sekelim, the, the sparks become nisarev within the ra. Um, do this level of heart kava. But then the strafus of para, is specifically the process of separating the ra that's mixed, that becomes mixed with the sparks within tohu, and separating it from the good. And by way of viyartara mikebecha, by removing the, wi- the, the ra, the evil, from, from your midst, then when you essentially burn the para, burn the, the cow, the, 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 the paraduma, and in this case, we are separating the rot, the evil with that's mixed within the good within Klippus Nega. Then all you have left is the afer, which is the the atzmius of good that's left. Um, and that's why it's called afer para, because para is peirish he par Hashem. The par Hashem, par of Hashem becomes par. Of Aleph, which is the one Hashem, etc. Now that is the mashal of the Paraduma and the Nimshal with regards to Hakadosh Baruch Hu and our Avoda, the Baruchnius. Now, practically, in our Avoda Hashem within, within our soul, within our own Kaychas and Nefesh, uh, we know that our Nefesh Abamis. Um, Specifically, the Midas of Anavish Bahamas have a lot of uh, its Klippus Nega, in which the source of the Klippus Nega of Anavish Bahamas is from Tahu, the world of Tahu. And so, our Aveda, our, our internal Aveda Sasham, is to burn our para within, so to speak, meaning to burn and to remove the wickedness that's mixed in to the. Um, nefesh abamis of the, this of the klipas noga, and to to rem- except by burning that, we're extracting all the evil negativity within our animal soul, and making sure that that we don't have that our emotions aren't inclined towards tivas and lamhaza, and then we can have this. Um, our Nefesh Bahamas only um, 
in the service of Hashem, involved in the service of Hashem. Meaning that separating specifically the Levushim Sayim, these uh, soiled garments, which represents the Tivus, um, that we can remove and burn all wickedness and evil that's within us. Um, and separated from our midas, that it won't affect our midas in a practical way. And then the essence of our midas will be able to be completely transformed to Kedusha. And from this, we'll be able to have a Ava Rabba to Kedush Baruch uh, in a way that that the advantage that the, through transforming the darkness into light and crying out to Hashem with a great strength. And this is what is written in the Zohar in the explanation of that when we say the Shema with all of our your hearts specifically both hearts, meaning both your Yetzir Tov and your Yetzir Hara. It says in the Zayar, V'da, da, v'da raza. So the question is, is why is this a secret? Is it raza? What is it raza? The, the two Yetzirs of the B'chol um, Vavcha. The L'chayra, it's Pashat that Ma'id, Ma'idcha, Medecha, that this is, is very, sorry, it's very simple. That this love to Kaj Baruch, this Lavavcha, Bishnei Tzarecha, as is written in the Gemara, that the question is, is how can Bechol Vavcha, Bishnei Tzarecha, be such a secret, according to the Zohar, if it's uh, explicit in the Gemara and seems a very simple thing, this Bishnei Tzarecha? Uh, so, so what's the Indian of the Zayar? The Indian is that the big Pella of Chulvav Chabash is how can it be that the Yetzir Hara and Taiva in this world can actually have such a transformation that it can be that you can really love Hashem Bishnei Yetzir that you can that the that the Yetzir, even the Yetzir Hara can be completely transformed to holiness. And not only that, but that the, the, the love of the Yetzir Hara can be at such a level that is even higher than the, the love of the Yetzir Tov. Because the, Yetzir, the love of the Yetzir Hara sends to its source in Sag, which is higher than Shema. Now, now that is the Emes, that when... The kalim of the Ratzon of Nefesh Abamis are burned, meaning that in order to have the Eitz of Ein of Meris Bara, as of Mishaya, that one's Machshava uh, remains only as uh, Afer, as ashes, is the Ratzon itself. Then the Ratzon is able to be transformed. This this love, the uh, so the Yetzir Hara is able to be transformed. Um, in order that this Ratzain is completely for Hashem Himself. And this is the idea of Tshuva Me'ava, doing Tshuva out of love. This is the all this is the Indian of Afer Bim Kaim Hanachas Tfilin. Specifically during Tikkun Chatzois, um, one has to put the ashes in the plate in the same spot where one plate uh, um, on the forehead where they uh, uh, put the head to fill in. Because when Yeshaya la says la peir tachas because the peir the person the aleph, the peir um, is the hamtaka of the hegvurus sweetens the five. Gvuris, Menatzpach, um, because Menatzpach is Gematria Par. The Menatzpach are the five uh, syllables. M, N, Tz, P, Ch. represents, is the same Gematria as combined of the Gematria, the word Par of of a cow, 
of the heifer. And the explanation, the Indian, is to sweeten, so to speak, to transform the bitterness to, into sweetness, to, to transform the darkness into light. This is what Rav Chaim Vital uh, explains in Shartik Avinus. It says as follows that after all of the dinin are burnt, they the afer becomes sweetened. Therefore, the para becomes burnt. The paraduma becomes burnt, and the ashes of the paraduma goes on the forehead, because there is the beginning of the side to arouse this uh, the zivug. Because the gvuris are from my nukvin. And that's the lashon of Rav Chaim Vital. From here it's understood this inyan of Nisina Se'efer al Gabi Maim Chaim. Specifically, the ashes need to be placed on living waters. Because the Efer represents the refinement of Bir, bir Hamidois of Nevjabam, in order for them to be Shnitzarecha, which is this level of Ratzai. And afterwards, we have to have this level of Shuv. Which is the Indian of Nasanava Maim Chaim Bukali Davka has to go into the Kali, the the Maim, which represents Chachma, and Maim Chaim is is what flows from underneath the earth, meaning the Hamshacha, the flow of Chachma, which is Nimshach, and flows from this level of Kas from the level of Kasser, which is called the source of Maim Chaim, which is Stima Duchol Stima, the secrets of all secrets, which is this level of Chachma Shabbat Torah. And so this level of Maim Chaim, it davka has to be El Keli, meaning it has to be in Nislabish, in the Oasis of Torah. And what are the Oasis of Torah? Mesach Brachis, Mesach Shabbos. Those are the Kalim for the Aaron Sev Baruch that's included within them. And davka through the Isaac of Torah, which is the level of Shuv, have this Hamshach of Oyen Sev Baruch Lamata, nevertheless we need to have this Efer on top of Maim Chaim, that also after the level of Shuv, um, the Ratzai won't be extinguished, that that will still feel the, 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 uh, the, the impression, so to speak, that's left from the Ratzai, so, the, so that is the whole Indian, to have that balance of Ratza and Shuv, of the inspiration, but Davka, that inspiration to be Al Kelly, but without fully extinguishing that inspiration. Okay, Ashokayach, thank you very much, and hope you enjoyed, and we will be back tomorrow with the next Dav and continuing the beer. Have a great day.